This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. <laughs> Now it's not even lunchtime. Why are we discussing pickles? Pickles don't really show up till lunchtime. Nobody eats pickles in the morning, do they? It's Friday, so you know it's freaky, freaky, freaky Friday. How you like your pickles? Tell the story, sir. How do you? I'm just asking a question before we start the story. How do you like your pickle? Whoa. That's the only way to eat them, right? Okay. All right. <laughs> like mine, Dill. You like Dill's pickle. All right. Well, let's talk Dill, about Nick pick, Cannon. Dill pickles. Nick Cannon talk about his love for pickles, but he likes his pickles a little different. This is the fruit roll-up pickle. So what you do Ugh. is you have the pickle, roll a fruit roll-up around it, roll up. squeeze a My little... My mouth is salivating. <laughs> you squeeze a little chamoy sauce on it, oh. and then you sprinkle some tahini spice on top. This is a dream come true. Dream come if, you have, if you ever want to reach my uh, sweet spot, give me some fruit roll-up, some tahini, and a pickle. I don't believe I'll that. I'll marry you. Whoa. I don't believe it. Well, it goes further because he likes more than just fruit roll-up on his pickle. So next we've got the pickles, and the pickles are having a big moment right now. Oh, well, now. they call me Nickel Pickle. I'm, Nickel. I'm a pickleologist. <laughs> I like pickles. Yeah, you like pickles. I'm a, I, I, cucumbers and pickles, I'm, I'm, I'm with this. You're with this. So the first thing we got here is the snickle. Do you know what the snickle I'm, is? I'm all about the You're snickle. About you take snickle. a snicker and put it in the middle of a pickle. Yeah. I, I think yeah. I might be the <laughs> snickle eating champion. I did this on my radio show. I'm pausing pickleologist just because. <laughs> that's all I got from that. Pickleologist needs to be paused. I've never tried any of those combinations, but a man who has eaten both a pickle and a Snickers, both a pickle and a fruit roll up, none of those combinations sound uh, appealing to me. Now, when you take a honey bun and put a Snicker in the middle of it and put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds and then eat that, you got to wrap it like a hot dog, that's some good eating. That sounds the but same. Pickles? I'm, not a, I'm mm -hmm. not a pickle eater. I don't eat pickles. Nah, I don't even like pickles by themselves. Like, I don't, I don't, they got to be on something. They got to be in a salad, on a burger, you know? Yeah, you like your pickles on something. So you like them on buns. <laughs> All right, now let's go to Mace. Now, Mace, God, sick, Mace talks about why he dissed Diddy. Do we have the actual audio where he dissed Diddy, that little snippet? Do we have that? Can we pull that up? Do we have it? Yes? No? It's not that type of show, huh? I thought right, we had I just heard it. He just played in the room. No, we don't have the actual record, but we have oh. why he did it. So let's play why Mace dissed Diddy. When I see the hurt and the pains of other people on Bad Boy, that motivates me to say something so I don't be deemed as a person who just made a bunch of money and turned a blind eye. I'm not going to be like the yes men around him that see him ruining people's lives and never tell him he's wrong. They'll say nothing about is a concert for Biggie and Biggie's own daughter couldn't get in. We're done with your games. That's terrible if that's true. Mm -hmm. If they had a concert for the Notorious B.I.G. and her, his own daughter couldn't get in, that's horrible. Yeah, that is horrible. And first of all, I, 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 I pray one day Diddy and Mace uh, work that out. But can I say this to everybody? Diddy is not our boss. I don't know where y'all get that internet rumor from. <laughs> that Diddy owns the Breakfast Club. No. We were partners with Revolt for a period of time. We're not partners with Revolt uh, anymore. But yeah. Salute to Diddy. But yeah. he's not our boss no, in no not, way, shape, or form. Not at all. It's just crazy because um, I thought they, they solved their problems. I thought they went on and tour. And that's what's wild. I thought everything was okay, but maybe Mace is still, you know, reliving some of the things from the past. And so. I think that's why, you know, even if some of the things Mace is tr saying is true, true are valid people might not take it as serious right because they always see them in and out of relationships with each other you know what i mean right. over the past 20 years right so you know mace also gonna be feeling like he's speaking up for other artists that might not have you know not be able to get the light yeah you just can't hokey pokey the situation you can't even have one foot in one foot out you know what i mean mm -hmm. you just now that's what it looks like over the past 20 years sometimes you in sometimes you out now wendy williams uh she reached out to uh good morning america yesterday she talked about uh some of her battles and what's going on with her. Tell us how your how your health is. Health is very well, and um, I actually have had a few appointments. You know, I'm 57 now, and I have the mind and body of a 25 year old. What happened? She says she has. Uh, she's a 50 year old, but she has the mind and body of a 20 year old. 25. 25 year old. Yes, yeah, I heard that part. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, now she also talks about her, her money situation. They say that I need somebody to handle my account, and I don't want that. I want all my money. I want to see all my money that I've worked hard for my entire life, my entire life. 
I don't lie, I don't cheat, and I don't steal. I am an honest, hardworking person. I need to go back to this biological age, body age thing. I don't believe it. What do you mean? It's, it's just impossible to be 50 and have a 25-year-old body. That's not how body age works. Or am I taking this too literal? Well, she, I, I guess she means she's 50 years old, but she's in shape. That's what she yeah, means. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But you can actually do body age. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but that's what that she was trying to say. I've shaved off a few years of my body age over the past couple of months. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, I will also say this. I know that a lot of these banks put things like this uh, as protocol so that if something does happen, if you are sick that your family members or your friends are not uh, spending your money for you. And they put those in protocols so that to protect you. So. And make sure you don't end up in a pickle. And I tell you what, mm-hmm. uh, if, if people you know don't think you're of sound mind and body, you can't do a phone call. Correct. To Good Morning America. Correct. Like, this is not the early 2000s. Like, that's not going to make people believe you good. Like, people got to see you. Mm-hmm. That phone call ain't going to cut it. Because mm-hmm. I, I, I think that phone call probably did more harm than good yesterday. Because now people got even more questions. Like, why wasn't she... On camera, why didn't we see her? Like, how do you know she's really good? Absolutely. You know? And lastly, uh, we got to say shout out to uh, Rick Ross's daughter. She turned 20 years old. And Rick Ross, uh, he pulled out all the stops for his daughter. Happy birthday. Y'all wish. You feel me? Y'all wish a happy birthday. And another gift. <laughs> Yes, she was very excited. Rick Ross purchased a, a Lambo truck. Lord, have mercy. And a Birkin bag. So the wow. Lambo truck right now is going probably about 30000 40000 over sticker. So he probably paid about 300000 for that truck. And a Birkin bag right now can range from anywhere from 10000 to $20,000. Well, drop, drop on the clues bomb for Rick Ross. He, he, he's acting his wage. He absolutely Okay, he's acting his wage. All That's right. just the way things are. You, everybody got to act their wage. All you right. know, don't look at that situation and compare it. To what your daddy ain't getting you, your daddy ain't Rick Ross that you know of. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> and that's for everybody in Miami. All right. Well, okay. that is your rumor report. All right. Now, when we come back, we got front page news. We got some positive news. No, a we mother don't. buys a son, his, uh, a, her son, three houses for his birthday. We'll break that's what it I'm down. talking about. We'll talk about it when we come back. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you.